There are spoilers for the organisations in this world, but I have done my best to leave out any details that spoil plot points for the book or movie. The Butlerian Jihad was a struggle against oppression between machines controlled by men being used against other men, and the outcome of this was a war to remove the machines entirely from humanity's lives. Owning a calculator could come with a trial or sentence of death. This command was enforced by religion through the Orange Catholic Bible that dictates, Thou shalt not make a machine in the likeness of a human mind. Machines were seen as making man unable to fulfil his full potential. Following the war, several groups stepped forward to fill the void in power and replace what was lost with AI. The Guild and Sisterhood, already established, though not as they were during the time of Dune, moved quickly into this vacuum. The main power group controlling all mercantile affairs was Chom. They controlled trade, whilst the shipping of goods, along with the transport of people, fell to the Spacing Guild. Chom was set up for the control and management of economic affairs, its power in the hands of the Emperor and the Landsrat, a body that represents all the great houses of the Imperium. Silent partners also within Chom are the Spacing Guild and the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. Here is a little about each of these organisations and how they sit within things. The Bene Gesserit Sisterhood act as advisors to the Emperor and the major houses, but they work to a hidden agenda with separate objectives. With the many chapter houses stationed on key planets and their membership growing with sisters from those houses, they have great power and influence. Emperor Shaddan IV is a member of House Carino. Upon winning the Battle of Corin, they ascended to the throne. For millennia, their power was maintained through ruthless tactics and their Sadukar armies. The Landsrat are made up of many houses. The Emperor's family are the leading house. Other notable houses are House Atreides and House Harkonnen. This body represents them in the Imperium. The Council allows a mechanism for the houses to negotiate, create alliances or declare a formal process, such as a vendetta or feud, with another house. Any path that narrows future possibilities may become a lethal trap. Humans are not threading their way through a maze. They scan a vast horizon filled with unique opportunities. The narrowing viewpoint of the maze should appeal only to creatures with their noses buried in the sand. The Spacing Guild used the spice mined from Arrakis to carry out faster than light travel, they are the only ones that have access to this. This makes them a influential political and economic force. Even the powers of the sisterhood would be threatened if the spice was cut off. A process cannot be understood by stopping it. Understanding must move with the flow of the process, must join it and flow with it. Mentats were created to replace thinking machines through their ability to make computer-like calculations. They have vast memories and can organise large amounts of data. They were hired by the Great Houses as political advisors, as well as working for the Sisterhood. An Ixia machine, you defy the Jihad. There's a lesson in that too. What do such machines really do? They increase the number of things we can do without thinking. Things we do without thinking, there's the real danger. Ixians made complex technology that was in contradiction to the established rules of the Jihad. They were protected in this regard by their political power and the demand from the great houses for what they made. The Talak Sioux are a secretive group of genetically engineered humans. Their technology is organic they create creatures through their engineering, such as the face dancers, highly skilled assassins, and Gola, artificially created people. They are isolationists and reveal very little to the outside world. 
The Talax Su and the Ixian's technology fill the void made by the loss of thinking machines and trade and transport are taken care of by the Spacing Guild and Chome. Governance of the Imperium is made by the Emperor and below him the other great houses and behind the throne, advising most, the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. So you see, the effect of the Jihad, instead of relying on technology as a crutch, people advance themselves through mental will, technological advancement, or exposure to the spice, all so they can fulfil their potential. Thank you for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all notifications.